dia buat dia ada kat YouTube. Ha, dia dia pasal hari ni ada semua yang dia cakap. Dia interview anda malam tadi yang berpuluh lagi. Ya, geng. Ayi. Nak kuat tadi tu nak cerita benda ni lah. Ayi. Ha, cuma jangan ada dia kan. Dia kata aku anak akan berdiri di atas kebenaran walaupun dia banyak apa dia bikin cerita. Nanti akan lebih terhormat kalau dia tengok kepada kebenaran. Saya cakap gitu je. Dia kata I I am responsible MP. Saya buat keputusan buka atas apa uh, tu? Main personal dia tu. Dia konsult je. In fact bila I konsult dia dua minggu dua bulan lepas dia tak tahu pasal dia. Dia tak tahu. Dua bulan lepas dia tak tahu. Cucu. Dia sendiri dia tak tahu. Dia tak tahu yang kita ambil yang mana dia tak tahu sila. Dia Masa hanya macam. input data pada Linus. Eh kini dia terus dia pun dah sangka semua. Terus dia tu lagi satu lah itu. Dr. Rusli ni dalam parlimen tak pernah cakap Bila kita bercakap pasal angle yang kita kita cakap ni Dia kata kalau macam tu okey lah Dia tu je, dia tak argue lah Ya lah, kita tahu Sidang media ini dibuat sebagai uh, satu respon Kepada kenyataan yang telah uh, dikeluarkan oleh dua orang individu Iaitu uh, Profesor Ahmad Termizi dan juga Dr. Cik Rusli Cik Mat Yang telah disiarkan oleh stesen TV3 uh, Baru-baru ini Oleh itu badar dan PAS Indra Makota sebenarnya kami menghormati kebebasan bersuara dan mengeluarkan pendapat yang men- memang menjadi asas perjuangan PAS selama ini. Tetapi uh, kami ingin menegaskan bahawa sebarang tindakan atas nama individu atau kepentingan individu tertentu tidak seharusnya mengheret nama baik parti dan dasar perjuangan yang telah diputuskan secara bersama, secara syurah. Justru itu, Badar dan PAS Indra Mahkota mengecam sekeras-kerasnya tindakan Dr. Cik Rusli Cik Mat yang juga ahli Parlimen Hulu Langat di atas sikap beliau yang membelakangkan parti kepimpinan dan juga keputusan yang telah dibuat walau atas apa jua alasan. Badar dan PAS Indra Mahkota selaku organ parti yang paling hampir dengan kilang Linus ini Sekali lagi menegaskan bahawa kami tetap berpendirian Supaya pembinaan dan pengoperasian kilang Linus ini Dihentikan serta-merta tanpa sebarang alasan Demi keselamatan, kesejahteraan dan kebajikan penduduk setempat dan juga rakyat keseluruhannya Badar dan PAS Indah Makota juga berpendirian bahawa PAS Malaysia Mesti mengambil tindakan tata tertib terhadap Dr. Cik Rosli Di atas sikap beliau yang jelas membelakangkan keputusan parti Dan mengelirukan rakyat Melalui medium yang jelas memberi impak negatif dan amat memudaratkan parti dan juga rakyat Badar Merasakan bahawa pendirian Dr. Cik Rosli itu mengkhianati Sebenarnya perjuangan yang telah diterajui oleh Badar dan PAS Indah Mahkota Selama 3 tahun hampir Beliau telah mengkhianati perjuangan dan juga Badar dan juga PAS Indah Mahkota Badar dengan sokongan penuh daripada PAS Indah Mahkota, PAS Pahang dan juga PAS Malaysia Akan meneruskan segala tindakan dan perancangan yang telah diatur bagi menentang operasi kilang Linus ini Seperti tindakan mahkamah yang sekarang ini sedang dalam proses uh, penelitian di pihak peguam kami Dan juga kami akan meng- menjalankan kempen peringkat nasional Melalui program uh, World Cleanup Day The issue of lamb is complex and multifaceted Thus the decision to be made on lambs safety and consequently justifying lamb's presence in gibbing must involve input from experts of various disciplines. On that premise, we have consulted local experts. To say that we don't trust local experts is not true and misleading. We have consulted local experts from the various disciplines in order to arrive to the conclusion on opposing the presence of lamb in gibbing. Experts consulted from the various disciplines were They consist of public health experts, chemical engineers, uh, environmentalists, um, lawyers, nuclear physicists. As I say, it's multidisciplinary. Example of uh, public health experts are doc- uh, toxicologists, Dr. Jaya Balan and Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad. Both are toxicologists. Epidemiologists, uh, Dr. Chan Chi Kun. 
chemical engineers with specialization in environment, Professor Dr. Tan Ka King. Chemical engineer with expertise and specialization in metal and corrosion, Dr. Lee Chi Hun. Lawyer with expertise in international environmental law, Professor Dr. Gurdial Singh. Nuclear physicist, Encik Ahmad Bongsu. These are the local experts that we have consulted. And it is multidisciplinary as you can see. Rare earth extraction and refinery is an area which is totally new in Malaysia. And for that matter, a totally new area elsewhere in the world outside China. We do not have a benchmark to look up to. Even though we have proposals of a few best practice, there are none best practice in operation as yet. That is why journals and publications from other parliaments are needed to be sought before a responsible decision can be made. All these efforts were taken up in the interest of the rakyat. Demi rakyat, which I must emphasize is what we have responsibly done and followed up with. TV3 and Karam Singh Walia primetime appearance is just a concerted plot by the BN administration to continue with their agenda of protecting liners for their own benefits and not for the rakyat. By just engaging in expert from one discipline and omitting local experts from other relevant disciplines exposes BN's selfish agenda in denying the interests and the well-being of the rakyat contrary to the people first policy. <coughs> what is stopping TB3 and Karam Singhwalia from engaging with all these other experts? Why? Because these other experts does not conquer with the stance of the BN government and they refuse to be used as tools towards BN objectives and goals. Why does TB3 and Karam Singhwalia does not engage with MMA? the Medical uh, Malaysian Medical Association, with Sahabat Alam Malaysia, with the Consumer Association, with the Bar Council, all of whom, all of whom have made very strong positions and statements, citing very strong supporting arguments on why LAM must not be, be, be given the license to operate. TV3 and Karam Singh Walia's continuous efforts to discredit me and personal attacks on me goes to strengthen my assertion that the whole exercise is a political ploy of the BN government who is so desperate and worried about their inability to continue to stay in power. By discrediting me, BN is using its mouthpiece TV3 to embark on an early campaign prior to the elections. Defamatory efforts by TV3 and Karam Singh is not in the interest of the rakyat but in the interest to serve their political masters which is clearly the BN administration. Pendirian PAS tetap menolak uh, projek ini dan inilah pendirian terakhir kami selepas daripada ini walaupun siapa juga yang menyatakan sokongan walaupun ahli kami sendiri diharap supaya rakyat Kuantan dan rakyat Pahang khususnya tidak lagi merasa uh, merasa Uh, tersinggung dengan ucapan-ucapan yang menentang uh, aspirasi rakyat khususnya rakyat Kuantan Yami kami secara jelas uh, pendirian kami tidak akan berubah sampai kilang ini ditutup dan kami akan menyokong sesiapa saja yang berusaha untuk menentang uh, kilang lainnya ini daripada terus beroperasi dan memberikan mudarat kepada seluruh rakyat Kuantan dan rakyat Pahang amnya Uh, saya tidak rasa hadan lah kepada kenyataan Dr. Cik Losli yang dari PAS sebab itu semua itu semua pendirian peribadi beliau bukannya pendirian seluruh, seluruh parti PAS dan saya yakin bahawa perbualan beliau di berita TV3 tidak akan membawa pengaruh kepada orang ramai sebab rakyat keselamatan moden sekarang ini adalah begitu bijak dan pantai untuk menilai dan mempenting kepercayaan keberanan seorang punya kenyataan walau apa juga kenyataan Dr. Cik Losli saya yakin pendirian DAP PAS dan PKA tetap akan bersama rakyat Kuantan menentang nanda sejarah sejarah habis-habisan terima kasih, sekian ok ok, I'm here talking to Clement Chin Uh, Clement, your position. 
I believe the Chinese community is, is, is quite upset about uh, the plans that Linus has for, for building this, uh, this lab. Uh, you see, yeah, because Chinese community, uh, communities are more alert in the sense that uh, because during the 1980s, uh, the uh, Asia Rare Earth in mm -hmm. uh, Bukit Merah, Ipo, mm -hmm. uh, that was something whereby uh, have uh, alerted the uh, Chinese community a lot because mm -hmm. in Chinese paper by those days, mm -hmm. they have uh, put up like uh, how they were fighting their demonstration and then how, how uh, what are the impact on the uh, red, uh, I mean the red earth factory and all mm -hmm. that. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very important that the, the Australian citizens mm -hmm. right, uh, understand uh, our predicament mm -hmm. that being a third world nation, mm -hmm. right, the Australian companies cannot use Malaysia as their dump site. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, we cannot accept that. Mm -hmm. So it is important that the Australian people, mm -hmm. right, they have to, to also stand up with us, together with us, mm -hmm. right, to tell the government that this is not the way, right, the Australian want to be seen worldwide, you know, mm -hmm. right, internationally, right, that they are responsible uh, citizens themselves, right, if they are so... I think it's very important that we start getting Australians interested, because at the moment, I think, it's not a big story over there, it's a little bit of a story, but yes. having great difficulty trying to explain to them, because yes. for Australians, they don't understand yeah. Malaysian politics, perhaps, yes. Yes. and they, they think, well, if the, if the government approves it, yeah. the government represent the people, yes. so it's okay. Yes. But I think they don't understand that it doesn't quite work like that in Malaysia. I mean, yes. nobody was consulted, nobody was spoken to, right? Yes. They just they just go ahead straight ahead and build it, right? Yes. If this issue is not handled properly, mm. it may strain the bilateral relationship Absolutely. between Malaysia and, and, and Australia. Mm -hmm. And I hope that the, the people in Australia can see that, you know, mm. it, is, it is going to happen. Uh -huh. yeah. And in actual fact, the bilateral relationship between yeah. governments yes, yes. is less important yes. than the bilateral relationship between rakyat, between yes. the Australian rakyat, between yes. the Australian people and, yes. and the yes. Malaysian people. Yes. It's a more important relationship. Really. Yes, yes. Yeah, we just don't want the backlash to happen. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, to the Australian people, yeah. yeah right. so, so obviously the Malaysian authorities have in the past yeah. approved licenses yes. that, that demonstrably ended up being disastrous for, yes. for people. Yes, that's, yeah, that's it, that's mm -hmm. it, exactly. You see what happened is, uh, uh, in fact, uh, at that moment, there are already uh, signs of this, uh, what you call the impact from radiation. Mm -hmm. huh? like a uh, uh, grazing uh, animal uh, that is uh, the animal that is grazing around the area there uh, were found to be just died of you know sudden death and all that uh, and then the uh, the um, uh, the leukemia uh, the, the children leukemia cases uh, upset uh, and then uh, people with cancer also uh, anti linus is mainly uh, this uh, chinese uh, uh, feeling the worry. Uh, Chinese are ending the the, the, the this Alliance project, uh -huh. uh, not so, the so, Malay. So they're trying to play the racial game? Yeah, uh, yeah, they're trying to play, uh, play a racial game. When, uh, I, when, I, when I saw in there, just now, quite clearly, it's Malays and Chinese, it's everybody. Yeah. Yes. It's the residents of Kwantan generally. Yes, yes. At this the, moment, through the activity of Panda mm -hmm. and the past year, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, through the leadership of uh, uh, this uh, Fuzia Saleh and all that, because you know she's a family as well. Uh, so I think more and more people come and realize the uh, impact uh, of this uh, radioactive waste. See? That's why more and more people are more alert. Uh, so uh, in fact, today, if you ask around uh, this uh, Barok area here, uh, yeah, you, uh, the uh, the Malay uh, Malay uh, Kampung people here. I think out of ten people, I think at least four or five people. I think they will tell you. Oh, well, that, are quite aware of what's uh, going on. Uh, they know, and then they they won't they won't be they they are, they are not happy that this thing will be here. In their own backyard. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Saya telah buat sedikit kajian dan saya perhatikan dalam dunia sekarang ni tanah jarang ini buat mesin ini dikeluarkan dengan banyaknya oleh pihak negara China. Negara China mengawal hampir 97% daripada pasaran uh, tanah jarak. Buat mesin ini, pengeluar terbesar ialah China. Dan kita harus ingat, China mempunyai rangkaian perniagaan 
yang sangat teratur yang mempunyai struktur yang baik melalui Asia Pacific Chinese Chamber of Commerce sebagainya itu sebab kita dapat lihat di Malaysia ni terutama di Kuantan mereka yang menentang terdiri juga ramai daripada pemimpin-pemimpin persatuan-persatuan orang Cina dan kita tak boleh tolak kemungkinan bahawa ada kerjasama yang mungkin tidak diuruskan secara resmi tetapi kerjasama dengan uh, dasar tahu sama tahu dan uh, kita dapat lihat rata-rata di Kuantan ini yang menentang ialah orang Cina kita berasa yakin bahawa ada kaitan you have to extract the all out you keep on breaking down, breaking down, breaking down huh? you use the meal and uh, break down it until it's so fine it's become uh, less than micron mm -hmm. in size mm -hmm. so when the air is blowing Huh? It, it's all airborne. It can, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it can. Uh, I mean, it just become dust. Mm -hmm. see? Even though the SC is so heavy, see? Uh, I mean, so high. See? Uh, oh. The whole peninsula, no place, no place oh. is safe, man. Oh. Uh, uh, of course, we know the nearer it is, the concentration is higher. Mm. But how do you know? You don't uh, blow some uh, some particular uh, particles uh, to Johor Bahru or KL. Which is why, which is why Johor and Malacca and KL and Selangor people need to start. They they need, need to, to uh, uh, to yeah. They well. need to be alert on this, huh? Because uh, and then according to our this uh, what you call uh, Professor uh, Tan uh, Chan Chi Kun, no? I think uh, uh, our this uh, his uh, epitom epitomologist or something like that, uh -huh. huh? See? Uh, about this uh, disease one. Mm -hmm. The professor Doctor Chan Chi Kun, he say. Uh, once it's in hill and then the the radiation is stuck on your uh, your cell in the lung or something like that internally, huh? the magnitude of the impact uh, is trillion time compared to outside. See? Because it's already inside. In, inside, and then it's twenty four hours, three hundred and sixty five days working on that. Yeah, constantly. Uh, constantly. The, the radiation is keep on there. So why aren't this why aren't this sort of message being uh, given to the uh, people here? Mm -hmm. And on top of it, when this approving uh, the plan, uh, what happened is uh, they approve it so fast. Uh, why isn't there any uh, public consultation uh, before the plan is being set up? See? Uh, all these things are not done. Uh, why are the company? Uh, why why is the 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 the, the, the government uh, uh, so hesitating? Uh, wanted to give this uh, uh, this uh, what you call uh, this uh, uh, factory to be established here, uh, where they even give twelve years tax free, you know, as a primary uh, industry status. Uh, why we, where we don't even make a single cent? Uh, I mean. Uh, theoretically, within uh, I mean, why must they give that? Because this is something uh, a garbage industry, you know, where you go to any way in the world, uh, if that uh, country uh, were to allow this garbage industry to, to go in, uh, uh, even you, I think you raise levy a higher tax also, I think they will be too double, happy. Double tax. Uh, double, double tax or what? Uh, they will be just too happy uh, to go in there as long as they get the, they, they get the uh, chance to operate see, in that country, see. but how come uh, uh, they come in here? Not only we did not stop them, uh, we even give them twelve years tax free. Uh, you buat uh, restaurant ni kat sini? Saya sudah dua puluh tahun tu celating, pasaran. Dua puluh tahun. Ah, dan rezeki awak macam mana? Eh, pelanggan dari mana? Saya kontak. Ah, uh, tapi pelanggan yang yang makan kat sini dari mana? Orang Malaysia, orang mana? Orang luar negeri, banyak masalah lebih banyak. Uh. Uh, sini punya uh, super ahli holiday. Uh. Uh, KL punya, Singapura punya, uh. Johor punya, uh. uh, sama Malaysia punya makan ni. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Kenapa dia orang nak, nak datang kat sini? Sini pantai cantik, makanan stark lagi. Sini kawasan ada kasih orang 
holiday ya, Mia. Hmm. Ini Telating pun ada nama Mia. Mana-mana hmm. pun hmm. orang macam, tahu. Macam terkenal sebagai ah. tempat yang cantik ya. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Tapi lu tanya saya, saya pun nak cakap macam mana selepas ini nengok orang Mali soal nengai ini ada kilang macam ni Mia, orang lali lah. Hmm. Kilang ya. berapa jauh dari sini? Sini lebih kolang ada. Dua puluh kilometer lah sana. Hmm. Ada lebih kolang lah. Hmm. Tak cakap kayak keping malis sini meja lekat saya. Hmm. Tak cakap. Tapi kalau asap dari kilang itu memang angin, sampai, angin. memang sampai, ah. sampai, hmm. memang sampai meja. Hmm. Tapi sini meja lihat, sama hotel pun banyak lah. Lebih ada tiga puluh lebih lah. Lagi ini kedai kedai Melayu meja, kalau pisang ada yo terlupuk. Dah lah. Hmm. Uh, Sebab so, ini surat cali saya ingat diolang ah pun surat cali makan lah. Hmm. Siapa nak ma siapa nak mali kawasan macam ni? Hmm. Ah? Saya pun mau lali lah macam ni. <laughs> Betul ya atau? Betul lah. Ah. Restoran ini terikat dengan rezeki awak kan? Macam kalau 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 kalau, kalau pelanggan tak datang buat apa? Dalam tak datang kita memang sini okey lah, biasa memang boleh hidup lah, uh, uh, uh. boleh cari makan lah. Uh, tapi, tapi uh. lain jenis cari makan. Sebab ini, ini kilang sudah ada orang nengah uh. macam ni cakap orang tak pelanin mali lah. Uh. Uh, ini sudah ada. Mungkin uh, kalau reputasi buruk. Ah, uh, uh. sebab orang nengah ini ada obat lah tak pelanin uh. lah, jangan. Tapi orang mali sini nak nak lilek. Nah, uh. uh, soal macam ni soal ada ni kilang ini ada tapai mea angin sama lali lah kita pun nak cari makan susah lah. Uh. Uh. Betul lah. Kalau nak cakap Chonghua boleh juga. Boleh. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Kalau kalau memang uh. saya tak faham Chonghua uh. tapi um, orang Cina kak kak Kuala Lumpur kak Selangor um, mungkin mereka nak tahu pasal isu ini mungkin mereka nak dengar dalam bahasa Cina uh. nah, kalau awak nak cakap bahasa Cina boleh juga ah ah saya tak hei kan tai le ngo di itu lu yo kue yang yang hou dai dai yat yo ha teng do ngo di itu tok pan ke yo mu gam lei la ah ngo di itu Sau tiêm bao mấy lì sót, tại tại sai sai tôi có tám sáu cái căn nè, bao cọc cái mà lai à, cái siêu phản, ngồi để chăn thang, tôi hay cá lăn chỗ là, mua vào hắc lề, ngồi để tôi mua hoa nào hoa để sang chuyển, sang chuyển là cá lăn sẽ làm được. Ô tô chị, ô tô ok, thanks. Thank you ạ.
So, when did you first get involved in, uh, in anti-Linus uh, activism? Well, in March, um, beginning, uh, middle of March, uh -huh. right, right about the time, just after Fukushima incident, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, when uh, YB Fuzia came to our uh, a local community centre and uh -huh. gave a talk, and uh -huh. uh, after I heard more about it, I uh -huh. decided um, that I should uh, do something mm -hmm. about it. And sort of, what are your what are your motivations behind wanting to to fight Linus? Well, I I I, I love this place, you know. I love the town, and uh, I not might not get the the ill effects myself. We do not know that, but I'm concerned about the future uh -huh. of our children uh -huh. and the, the, our future generations. Uh -huh. and, and by the time by the time people here start to experience some of those negative effects, I guess it'll be too late by then, right? I mean, yeah. we're talking 10, maybe 20 years down the line, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, and so, how do you think the how do you think it's going? I mean, what do you think is the next step? What 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 do people really need to start doing? To to I mean, what can people do for themselves to try and kick Linus out? Well. The people can uh, join in to uh, protest, uh -huh. and uh, they can talk to their friends. Uh -huh. They can. They have relatives around the country. Uh -huh. They have friends. Uh -huh. They can uh, tell more people about uh -huh. this because, uh -huh. essentially, this is not just a Kuantan problem. Right. Assuming if they uh, we manage to close them down here, right. they might go to another state, right. and it becomes another problem. Right. But. I mean, people in other states have to understand that if, if the government can, or if it can happen to Kwanta, yes. it can happen to them as well, right? Yes, can, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. We're talking about the government um, telling people it's safe, uh -huh. and then if we look at the, the events unfolding in the past, and of course, uh, history was written whereby uh, lives were destroyed. Right. And uh, destroyed not necessarily mean all dying, all, all resulting in death, but right. some of them have to live uh, many years of bearing with uh, children born out of uh, um, uh, being handicapped uh -huh. and all. And also we have people who have miscarriages, you know. And, and so we look at this right now and if they say it's safe, and how, how can we measure their words, you know. Right. Yeah, and well, uh, you look at what they say. It's, I mean, you measure a man's words by what he said in the past, right? And, yeah. And what's happened in the past? Yes, yes. Yeah. We've seen this in the past, so we don't want history to repeat itself. Uh -huh. And uh, it looks like it's just really identical the way it's going. Uh -huh. And just like I said uh, before, IEA came. Uh -huh. I was thinking that it's going to be unfavorable to the people here, and true enough, is that uh -huh. we already knew, you know, what they're gonna say. Uh -huh. What yeah. did they actually say? What did the uh, the I the I A E A. They say they, what they came to Kuantan and, and what yeah. did they have to say? Well, they did a quick round of uh, the plan, uh -huh. which many of us think that is not sufficient in uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. But what they say was that they say that uh, that there is no uh, radiation uh, leak right now, because mm -hmm. it's obviously because we haven't started yet. But and then they say they have eleven criteria for Linus to fulfill. Uh -huh. That is their job. Mm -hmm. We got to know that IEA is a pro-nuclear uh, body. So what else can they talk about besides, you know, giving the go-ahead? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we can't just use a lopsided uh, uh -huh. thing to measure. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I heard they did something uh, where they had a press conference and they had a piece of the ore. They had a piece of the ore that will come from Mount Weld and they put a Geiger counter next to the ore. Mm -hmm. did you, did, is that, is that they had a, they had some press conference, right? Yeah, some people did that uh, in the past. Uh, I've seen it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and um, well, how are we to know that's real? Uh. But even if it's real, that is the uh, not the uh, waste material uh. because essentially, when you are doing a refinery, mm -hmm. it makes sense, right? If you want to store radioactive waste, mm -hmm. low as you call it to be, but we don't think it is, you will have to concentrate the amount in the to store in the least uh, possible space, right. and that would mean that you actually bringing all this material into high concentrated value. So it's yeah. not it's not the first load of ore that's the problem. Yeah. it's the last load of ore. Yes, and all of the thorium that's built up over that time. Yes, you know, that's, that's that's sitting in a pond somewhere in Gedding. Yeah, is, and, is, is and, the concern, right? yeah, and uh, con there's no concrete uh, plan on how to dispose the waste right now. Mm -hmm. Even uh, we we know that uh, in the past in Bukit Merah. It was presented that they're supposed to have a certain uh, standards to be met. It's not that those days they don't have standards. Sure, there were standards, but they were not met. They were not right. followed right. because uh, it was revealed that um, they were stored in second-hand drums uh -huh. when the criteria was supposed to be uh, 
lead line drums mm -hmm. and even then we don't know how long it lasts and when they ran out of the second hand drums they, the Ministry of Health approved a temporary license for them to store it in poly bags and uh, we've seen pictures of it being exposed and all and some of the locals were told that it's fertilizer to be used at home mm -hmm. and uh, they were thrown uh, in rivers, uh, thrown everywhere and dumped everywhere and so this has caused uh, a lot of uh, bad history, uh, devastating history uh, in, in the people, uh, Bukit Mera, yeah, Bukit yeah. Mera, yeah, at that time. So it's not so much a question of are the regulations there, it's a question of do we trust the authorities to keep a close enough eye on liners? Do yeah. we trust the authorities to watch them closely enough, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah because the there is no possibility of uh, human effort being 100%. You have high standards, yes, you can set, but I don't think anybody can actually fulfill the high standard. So, and then looking at the our way of life here whereby we uh, we um, very uh, lacking in the, the the sensitivity to be be uh, so serious about our jobs mm -hmm. in making sure that it's safe for someone take for instance we can look at the beach you know every day there's cleanup work uh, to be done um, I'm not saying that I'm not condemning that our people for being um, um, ignorant or what but just this is who we are. We're not ready. Like in spite of what the Nick uh, Curtis say that we have high standards of uh, to, to of people here and all. No, we're simple. Even, yeah. even in Japan, yeah. um, human error yeah. creeps in. I mean, human error can be a factor no matter no matter what country you're in, right? And you're then, right. And but then, having said that, I think Japan. I believe has met the highest standard possible, and then and then and then an accident has still occurred. Yes, yes, and, and it's and it's just that something that you can say that well we didn't realize that this could happen, and then we can't wait. The same thing over here, we can't wait for someone to say that oh we didn't know you know this was going to happen, right? So we can't just take people's words because you have to be responsible. Not just to answer, give an answer by giving an account. Are you responsible to bear the burden of destroyed lives uh -huh. yourself? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and then and then so that's one side of the story. That's that's the side of that's uh, the aspect of this about the danger that this poses. What do Malaysians get in return? What 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 have Linus offered? I mean, for the risk that the, the, the people the Penduduk uh, Gebeng will suffer and be exposed to. What do they get in return? Well, on paper, on the surface, we're getting somewhere between what? I think it's about 35, uh, sorry, 350 jobs. Uh -huh. All right? No transfer of technology. 12 years tax free. And these are all on the surface written. Uh -huh. And then, the, and then the 350 jobs, is there even, is there any kind of a guarantee that Malaysians will fill those roles? Or, or, the, or the, the people from Kuantan will fill those roles? Yeah, well, there, there wasn't any guarantee. I mean, yeah. my, my concern is, mm. there, you know, it might be literally no benefit whatsoever. I mean, if it's not Malaysians working in that factory, mm -hmm. then there's, you, you cannot find any, any benefit at all, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's hard yeah. to find, right? But even then, 350 jobs yeah. for 12 years uh, tax-free, yeah. which with such a worldwide, a huge industry. That's right. Yeah, right. so it's really not worth it. What are we getting? Uh. Why, why did the government negotiate uh, in such a way to give 12 years tax-free uh -huh. and uh, why is the government not benefiting anything out of it? Uh -huh. What's it need for them? Uh -huh. What's it need for us? Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, why is uh, Linus getting everything? Uh -huh. Yeah. The, li the Linus shareholders will be the only ones to Untung <coughs> and the Rakyat Malaysia the only ones to Rugi, right? Yes, yes, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Because the biggest uh, loss is your place is being treated like a dump site. Yeah. 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 So, so, uh, so, what would you say to the to the to the state government, to Menteri Besar uh, Adnan Yaakob, and to and to the the Prime Minister? What, what would you be your message to them? I would think the Menteri Besar has no power to get Linus out. Uh -huh. He may have the power to consent for it to be here, uh -huh. but ultimately, I think it depends on the Prime Minister. Um, I do hope that he would consider. Uh, looking back at history and uh, look at history and see what he has done to the people and uh, maybe you know there is a chance and he can actually prevent this from happening by getting Linus out before you know something like that happened and then if if you if you don't get the sort of response from the government that you hope for 
what do you see for the future? What do you think might happen at the next election? If uh, the government is not willing to help us, I think there's enough uh, angry people around uh, to make sure that uh, they vote uh, against the government. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, this is uh, not our doing. Uh -huh. This is uh, because somebody is refusing to help us. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Six or what? Who's in the fight? In Australia, we call it different.